Hi, this is Burns Argus with another edition of Inside OSU, and I'm standing out here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I'm in the middle of hundreds of acres uh, that belong to OSU, and this land is used for agricultural research, but smack dab in the middle of it is an incredible observatory, the OSU Observatory, that has the largest, most powerful telescope in the entire state of Oklahoma. Let's go inside and have a look. Well, I'm inside the observatory now with Dr. Pete Schul, who is uh, uh, head of this whole thing and a physics professor here at Oklahoma State University. Pete, thanks for having us out. Thanks for joining us out here. Now, uh, first of all, give us a little of your background. And I know you, you got your undergrad at Princeton and then in, in physics? Astrophysics. Astrophysics. And where'd you head from there? And then to Rice University for a master's in space physics and PhD in astronomy. And then you have kind of an interesting journey. Big hop, you made right? Then. So I'd always like speaking German. So I took a postdoc in Heidelberg, Germany at the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy, which is the major German optical astronomy institute. Yeah. Two years there, a great time, and then uh, hop across the ocean to Arizona State for half a year, and then through a great stroke of luck, uh, landed this nice position here at Oklahoma State. It's called the Mendenhall Observatory. Why is mm -hmm. that? Uh, it was named in honor of uh, the estate of Harrison Mendenhall, who was OSU's first astronomer. So he showed up uh, in the mid-1930s with a PhD in astro from Berkeley in spectroscopy of all things. Wow. And it was a very primitive field back then. And, and so he taught all of the uh, uh, astronomy courses until about the mid-60s when he retired. This was actually built when? This was uh, finished in 2002. And this is the big guy, right? Here, right. Huh? Uh, what is this? Okay. Uh, I know it's a telescope. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a uh, case okay, called a 24-inch telescope because the mirror is 24 inches across, and that's a pretty good, expensive size. Uh, it uh, has the same optical design as the Hubble Space Telescope, so it's super. It's every bell and whistle you could want. This telescope has in terms of advanced technology, uh, and it's designed for you know looking at exoplanets and detecting asteroids that may may hit the Earth. And it's the biggest telescope, as you said, in the state of Oklahoma. This this looks like a very expensive. Uh, mm -hmm. device to me. Mm -hmm. yeah, the how, how, how much? Uh, well, the Air Force grant that, that, that purchased this custom-built telescope is a quarter of a million dollars in round numbers. Well, I see we, uh, we have some students over here. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's check in. On, uh, I guess there are some of those that are learning and maybe exactly. in those Air Force observatories. Exactly. So let's do that. Well, this is Andrew Knoll, uh, who is a freshman in mathematics and economics, correct? Yep, that's and, right. And where are you from? I'm from Joplin, Missouri. How'd you get interested in the observatory and astrophysics and all that? Um, well, I actually have astro an astronomy class uh, this semester, and I needed to contract an honors course. And I asked Dr. Scholl if he would be willing to contract, and he said that I might be able to help out out here. And so I've been. Do you even know this time. existed? No, I had no idea until that, that time. It's just pretty cool, of isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of awesome. Well, well how, do you, how do you operate this thing? Do you know? Uh, yeah, I actually uh, do. Right, show, let's show us. All right, so it's actually pretty simple. Uh, we just go yeah. to this right here, and we connect the telescope. And here we go. Yes. Um, uh oh hear it there. I can hear it going. Yep. That's so, the, so the dome spins. Mm -hmm. I guess, uh, and what, 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 how does it know where it's going? Uh, well, there is a little magnetic sensor wherever it was parked over there, and it's going to know when it comes back around that that is north. Basically, it's going to open up eventually. The shutter's going to open up. Uh, it's going to fold out, and the telescope will um, point in the direction where it opens, and we will be able to tell the telescope where to go Pretty simple. Where, could, where should we go? Um, well, I think. What would be interesting? On a night like tonight, it would be great to look at uh, Jupiter, perhaps, and the moon is always nice to look at. To look through and actually see something, you look on the computer or you look through the lens here? Oh, gosh. Well, you can do either, but looking through the lens is a very unique experience. Um, well, let, let me, I think I'll try that. All right. Well, I'm over here with Trevor Word. Hi, Trevor. How are you? How are you? Mr. You're Argus. a senior? Yes, sir. Uh, from Arnett, right? Right. And majored in what? Physics. Physics. Great. 
Well, listen, I was over there talking to Andrew. Andrew tells me if I come over here, we can get a look at Jupiter. That's right. right? And he says he can just click on a, on the uh, computer screen, right click. That he can. And, uh, and up comes Jupiter, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You just got to give him the word. Well, let's do it. How about it? Andrew. Andrew. Hit. Ready? Blast off. Got it. All right. Okay. So now this is, this is turning to the exact configuration mm -hmm. uh, to best view Jupiter, right? That's right. You just look at that. Mm-hmm. This is a control you can focus it in and out. And so you're seeing Jupiter? Yeah, it's a little fuzzy, but I think you can get a look at it here. You got it. Wow. I can't see the rings real well. Well, there they are. Unbelievable. I, so, I don't think I've ever really seen Jupiter that Pretty close. close. That's amazing. Well, as you can see, this is a pretty remarkable place. And I want to thank uh, Andrew and Trevor and, of course, Pete Schull for uh, inviting us in to see this remarkable asset to Oklahoma State University and to the whole state. People are learning a lot here, and we're excited about it. That's another edition of Inside OSU. See you next time.